Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another Compliance Tip of the Week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800-171 Control 3.5.2, Authenticate or Verify the Identities of Users, Processes, or Devices as a Prerequisite to Allowing Access to Organizational Systems. And if you're wondering to yourself, this kind of seems like a strange control, what on earth does that mean? Well, you are not alone, my friends. Uh, basically, what does this really mean? Well, it means that you can't just have some sort of open access to CUI. Somehow, if you're going to be putting your hands or eyeballs onto controlled unclassified information, uh, something's got to verify your ability to actually have that access. So a couple ways we do that. Uh, one is if I gave a sample answer, I'd say something like users must log in for access or swipe in using security badges for physical access. In addition, all systems require uh, you know, multi-factor authentication in order to touch CUI uh, along with, you know, let's say, a, a security camera verification at the front desk so that, again, we can authenticate or verify who these people are and who their real identity is. But the real point of this is, uh, you know, if you've got a big, giant you know, open work area, um, you can't just sort of allow anybody in there, right? We've got to actually know that the people coming into that area have got the ability to see that physical controlled unclassified information. You know, maybe it's a job traveler packet if you're in manufacturing. Uh, or, you know, maybe the reality is, is that you need access control on that space where CUI is. Uh, again, the, the obvious ones are, are IT, right? You've got to log in and password to most systems, and that's going to authenticate and verify good enough. Uh, obviously, there's another control somewhere else that tells you you need multi-factor authentication to access it as well. But the real point, the real point is that somehow you should be identified and verified uh, whenever you're accessing this kind of information, okay? That way we can trace back if there's a problem. So, hey, if you're trying to figure this compliance control out or any other uh, related to DFARS, NIST, SP-800-171, or CMMC on your own, and you're looking for help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST-800-171-compliance.com or check out the bio below for links that make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help, self-schedule time at your convenience with the, one of our compliance experts through any form on the website, or learn more about our completely done-for-you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. Really, it actually is that easy. So if you've been banging your head against the wall trying to figure this out, or maybe you've just been Googling since this morning, let me save you the time. It's going to take you a while. The average company takes six to 18 months to get this stuff figured out. Uh, and if you've got a contract on the line, wow, well, maybe, maybe uh, figuring it out on your own might not be the best idea. Hey, if you love the content we're putting out for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash that subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification. Everybody's going to have to go through it eventually. And until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there, and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you on the next one.